Hello there, this is TV once again from WS2 and you are watching Identity in 15. In today's episode, we'll be discussing about configuring Asia Active Directory as a federated IDP in WS2 Identity Server using the SAML protocol. Now, the last time I did an IT in 15 episode, we discussed about using Asia Active Directory as a federated IDP using the out-of-the-box experience provided by the WS2 Identity Server using the OIDC protocol. And there were so many questions as to how we could do the same using the SAML protocol. And this episode is right here to answer such questions. So I have written a blog on this topic and uh, you can uh, find the link to this uh, blog down below in the description of this video. And I'll be taking you through a step-by-step -step guide of this particular blog uh, during this demonstration. So I'll be using WS2 Identity Server 5.11.0 for this demonstration. And in case if you haven't downloaded our product yet, you can head over straight to our product page, wsc2.com forward slash identity and access management. And you can click on the try it now button and provide uh, your email ID and click on this button to download and try the server. Now I have downloaded the server and installed it and I have it up and running. So I won't be showing it how it's done, but trust me, it's not that difficult. Uh, so first, what we need to do is we need to create an enterprise application in Azure Active Directory. So in order to do so, I'll be going to portal.azure.com and I have logged in using my credentials. And then you can click on this hamburger menu icon and click on Azure Active Directory. And then we need to create an enterprise application. So I'm going to click on this enterprise applications item in the menu bar. And then I need to click on new application. And then I'll be creating my own application and I need to input a name. So let me call it WSO2 IDP. And let me choose the third option, which is integrate any other application you don't find in the gallery. And then let me click on create. Now let's wait till the application is created. It's taking longer than usual and I, I guess we are done. Okay, now our application is ready. And under this getting started section, I need to click on this setup single sign on option. So let me click on get started and select SAML because we'll be using the SAML protocol. So let's wait till it loads. And once it loads, we need to set two parameters. One is the entity ID and the next one is the reply URL. So let me click on edit here. And here I can uh, add the entity ID. I'll be using the default one, which is HTTP AD application registry.onmicrosoft.com forward slash custom app SSO forward slash primary. So I'll make a copy of this because I'll be needing it when configuring the identity server in WS2 identity server. Make about an identity provider in WS2 identity server. So let me select this one. And for the reply URL, let me type HTTPS localhost our uh, port number 9443 forward slash common auth. So this will be the URL to which uh, the Azure Active Directory would, uh, would be sending its SAML response. So make sure this is set to 9443 forward slash common auth. And then let me click on save. It might take a bit longer. So let's Let's wait till it saves our configurations and we may have to refresh the page to uh, get all our settings working. So let me hit refresh. And there you go. So we have added our uh, entity ID as well as the reply URL. So now uh, what we need to do is we need to download this federation metadata XML file so that we can use that to configure uh, the identity providing WC2 identity server. So let me click on download here. And that's downloaded it. Uh, so the next step is to add a user to this application so that that user will be able to log in uh, using this application. So let me go to users and groups and let me click on uh, add user or group. And under users, let me click on none selector and select a user account. So I'll be using this particular account to log into uh, this application. So let me click on select. And let me, uh, then let me click on assign to assign this user to this application. Now the Asia Active Directory part is done. Now let's go to our Carbon Console. So this is our Carbon Console. You can access our Carbon Console 
by going to localhost 9443 forward slash carbon and you can log in using your admin credentials. I have already done that. And let me click on add to add an uh, identity provider and let me call it Asia uh, AD IDP. And then I need to expand federated authenticators and expand SAML to web SSO configuration. And I need to enable SAML to web SSO. Now, once that's done, we need to provide a service provider entity IDD. Now, do you remember I copied an entity ID uh, from Asia Active Directory? So I'm going to paste it right here. So this will be the entity ID uh, of uh, identity provider. And then I'll be choosing metadata file configuration in front of select mode because we'll be using our metadata file to configure the identity provider. So next I'm going to click on choose file and I'm going to choose the file that I downloaded. So that is WSO2 IDP dot XML file. And then let me click on register. Now I need to click on edit once again, and we'll have to tweak a few settings here to get this AML uh, identity provider working. So I'll be going to federated authenticators once again. And here I'll be enabling authentication request signing, and then I'll scroll down and select RSA SHA uh, 256 as the signature algorithm because Asia Active Directory uses this to sign request. And then I'll be using SHA1 as the digest uh, algorithm. And then finally, in front of authentication context class, instead of custom authentication context, cl context class, I'll be choosing password. And then I can just update it. So once that is done, we can now add Asia AD IDP as an authenticator to a service provider. Now I have already got a service provider here named sample. So I'm going to edit it and I can click on local and outbound authentication configuration. And then let me click on advanced configuration. And let me click on add authentication step to add an authentication step. And I'll be choosing the Asia Active Directory AD identity provider I just created as an authenticator. So I have added this as an authenticator and I can click on update. So once that's done, I can update the service provider and it's time to check our configuration. Now, in order to test if our configuration is working fine, I'll be using the pickup dispatch uh, sample OIDC application. So I'll be using that to try to log into WSO2 identity server and hopefully I'll be uh, redirected to Asia Active Directory and I'll be able to log in uh, to my application. Now I'm going to open an uh, incognito window and let me go to pickup and dispatch. Then let me click on login. And I'm, I have been taken to Asia Active Directory single sign on page. And let me try to log in using the user account that I added to this application. Now, remember, I added this uh, particular user account uh, to the application. And if you have not done, you won't be able to log in. So let me click on next. Provide the password. Let me click on sign in. Let me skip it. Yes, and there you go. We have logged in to application using Asia Active Directory as an federated identity provider. So that concludes the session for today. And if you have any questions, I'll be happy to entertain uh, your questions. Uh, so if you have any questions, feel uh, free to post that uh, in the chat in the video stream. And I'll, I'll try my best to answer your questions. So as we wait for uh, questions, I would like to uh, tell you that uh, we have crossed 1,000 subscribers in our uh, Slack channel. So on behalf of our team, I would like to uh, render, uh, express my heartfelt gratitude to all our uh, community members for helping our group uh, grow in leap, uh, leaps and bounds in such a short time. And we look forward to uh, similar contribution in the future as well as we proceed further. And uh, you can also check out our WSO2 IAM community Twitter channel. Uh, so here we share uh, all the news uh, regarding our identity team. We share uh, the blog articles written by our members as well as uh, everything uh, identity. Uh, we, we discuss whatever the latest, latest happenings in uh, the identity domain. Also, we share information our, uh, about our product, our product updates, etc. So make sure that you follow us and check out our uh, IAM community Twitter uh, page uh, to keep abreast uh, the changes that's happening in our team. So let's see if we have any questions. So it looks like there are no questions. So I think it's time to wrap up.
So thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. And this is TV signing off. Have a great day. Thank you.